Hello YouTube, this is DrawingKit1313 and welcome to a tutorial on how to install some of the mods for my server. If you uh, keep up with my channel, you would know that um, I used to have a server and it had a whole bunch of mods. And, you know, that went alright until we had some griefing issues, so I decided to just restart completely um, with different mods. Um, not really different, but I excluded some of the mods that we were previously using. So hopefully this uh, installation is a little bit easier than uh, the first one because it only includes six mods uh, that you have to install. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you two different ways, one using MultiMC and the other using the you know usual installation going into your .minecraft and uh, using WinRAR to open up the jar file and you know all that fun stuff. So let's go ahead and go to MultiMC first. Um, now, if you don't want to see how to install these using MultiMC, there will be a um, a time in the description in which you can skip to that time uh, to go later in the video where I show you how to install them using the regular way. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go to MultiMC and we're going to create a new instance. I'm just going to call this my server. Alrighty, so now I have this one right here, my server. Of course, you can name it whatever you want. You're going to right click on it and go to Edit Mods. This will bring this up where you have your Minecraft.jar, Minecraft slash mods, and slash resources. Now you're going to go to wherever you have all the mods downloaded. I happen to have them right here. And uh, in your Minecraft.jar, you're going to drop these two mods in here Mod Loader and Minecraft Forge version 3.1.3.105 make sure you have that version or else it may not work so we're just going to simply click and drag those into uh, um, what is this multi MC and we're gonna alright that's, that's pretty much it now we're gonna go over to our slash mods now you're gonna go to wherever you have these installed you're going to have red power all one two three four five six all seven clients Control, Core, Lighting, Logic, Machine, Wiring, and World. Make sure you have all of them. You have Railcra Railcraft Client 5.2.0. Make sure you have this one or else it will not work. Um, I believe the most up-to-date version is 5.1 or 5.2.1. Don't use that or else you'll get an error when you try to log into my server. So make sure you have that. Make sure you have Industrial Craft 2 Client 1.95B. Make sure you have Forestry. Client 1.4.4.4 for Buildcraft 2. Point whatever 2.2. Make sure you have that, or else it will not work because you need to have Buildcraft version 2.x. Um, as you should know, there's a build, uh, Buildcraft version 3, um, but that is not updated for bucket servers just yet, so we have to use version 2.0. Make sure you get this version for Buildcraft, and then finally, equivalent exchange mod version 1.4.4.1. So make sure you have all of these same versions and everything, and you're simply going to click. I just, I'm just kidding. Don't select the EE2 just yet. You're gonna click and drag everything else into here. So now you should have Red Power, Railcraft, Industrial Craft, Forestry, and Buildcraft. Now when you install um, Equivalent Exchange, right here, when you install Equivalent Exchange, you will get a zip file that looks something like. Not that. Alright, so I found it. I just had to re-download it again. When you download it from um, Pahamar's uh, Minecraft forum page, you will find this. EE2Client v1.4.4.1.zip. Now you don't want that, so you're going to extract it to its separate folder. And then you'll, you will get this. Sorry. When you go into here, you'll see a mods folder. You're going to click on that, and you will find equivalent exchange to mod v1.4.4.1.jar. Now this is what you're going to want to put into your mods folder. Click and drag, and there you go, we now have it right there. Now there's one last thing to do. In your extracted zip file, you'll notice that there is a resources folder. If you double click on the resources, you'll see a mod folder. Now you're going to click, and you're going to drag that into the resources folder, and you should see that right there. And basically all this does is it allows you to use the equivalent exchange to sounds. So now we're going to close that. And now we're going to double click on my server. But before we do that, we're going to have to do one more thing. 
we're going to right click on it and we're going to say view folder this will take the take us to the folder of the instance you can find all your instances right here and you'll notice this you have a dot minecraft folder in here well that's cool now what we're going to do is we are going to go to here where i have my uh, server configs dot zip uploaded conveniently for you guys so you don't have to do as much you're just going to download this and everything will be good once you have that downloaded which i have right over here configs um, except for this there we go alright so when you when you get the drawing or draw 1313 server configs you're going to simply extract it to its own folder okay and then you're going to copy everything in here and you're going to click and drag it into here. Actually, I'm going to right click and drag so I can copy. And it's already going to, it's going to uh, warn you that you're going to replace a few things. Just say yes. Replace everything. And there you go. Now when we double click on this, we click log in. It's going to log us in. And we see that everything worked. Now if I go ahead into this creative world that I just created, and we go into here. Of course, it's taken a while to load. We scroll down, we'll see that we have red power. We'll see that we have equivalent exchange. We'll see that we have forestry. We see that we have industrial craft 2 and rail craft. And if we continue going down, we'll see build craft eventually. There we go. We see, we see some build craft right there. So there you go. You have successfully installed build craft and all the other mods that are required to play on my server into, uh, your uh, Minecraft client using MultiMC. Awesome. Now I'm going to show you how to install it the regular way, just in case you don't like to install it using MultiMC. So we're going to exit out of that, and we're going to get ourselves a vanilla 1.2.5 Minecraft. You can see that I have one right here. We're going to double click on bin, and we're going to right click on Minecraft.jar, open with WinRAR Archiver. Minimize that, and we're going to drag this over to the side. As soon as we open up this as well. There we go. So now we have wherever we downloaded our jar mods, mod loader, Minecraft Forge. Make sure you have that make sure you have Minecraft Forge client 3.1.3.105. But first we had to delete this meta inf of course. We're gonna delete it, click yes, and there we go, it's no longer there. Double click on mod loader, it's gonna open up another one where our window, and you're gonna click and drag it into your Minecraft.jar. Click OK. You're going to do the same thing with Minecraft Forge. Highlight everything, click, drag, OK. Awesome, now we can exit out of that. We're going to minimize that and we can go into Minecraft. And we're just going to make sure that we installed those correctly and there were no errors. There we go, if you get this screen, you've done it right. Now we're going to quit out of that, we're going to go back into our uh, .minecraft folder. Another reason why we launched it is so that it creates a mods folder for us. Awesome. Now what we're going to do, I have a lot of these open. That, okay, cool. Now we're going to go back to where we have our um, mods downloaded. And we have that, mods. And then we're going to go to wherever we have these. Make sure you have all the versions, and you're not going to include EE2 for right now. So you're going to highlight everything except for EE2, and you're just going to copy them over to your mods folder in your .minecraft. Alright, cool. Now the reason why I didn't have you include EE2 is because when you download it, you will have a zip file that looks just like this. You're pretty much going to right click on it and say extract to its own folder. You're going to go into that folder, go into the mods folder, and you're going to copy this jar file into here. So now you have EE2 mod v1.4.4.1 dot jar in your Minecraft mods. And then we're going to go back into our dot Minecraft and we have this resources folder right here. We're simply going to copy the whole resources folder and put it into here. Copy here. It's going to ask us if we want to merge it. We click yes, and there we go. Now there's one other thing that you have to do before you run your Minecraft. You're going to go over to this window that we ha that I have right here. I will have this link in the description as well as the link to every other mod that I use. And you'll see drawing kid 1313 server configs.zip. You're going to download this and you will have this handy dandy zip file that I made just for you guys that way you have no problems while installing these mods you can see I have it right here you're just gonna simply extract it to its own oops extract it to its own folder same thing that you did with this 
and you'll have it right here. Now you're going to copy everything in here, and you're just going to copy it into your .minecraft. It's going to say, hey, you want to uh, overwrite all this stuff? And we're going to say yes. Now we should be ready. So we're going to exit out of that. We're going to exit out of that. We're going to go into Minecraft. Log in. And you can see that it worked. Go into single player. We're going to create a new world that's creative. And I'm just going to show you that everything works. While we wait for that, I'm going to start up my server. Nope, that's not where it is. It's generating level. Seems like I froze Minecraft. I'll be right back once this all loads. Alright, so now that everything loaded, if we look through here, we'll notice, or here, we'll notice that we have red power, we have forestry, we have equivalent exchange, we also have railcraft, and uh, industrial craft, and finally build craft. Right there. So there you go, you just ex installed every mod successfully in order to join my server. Now if we go ahead and try that, we log in. There we go, we are now on the server. Awesome. So now we're going to exit out of that. I'm going to stop my server. And the server IP will be included in the description as well as the links to every other uh, mod that I use. So we're going to quit out of that. And there you go. I hope that this installation tutorial has helped you. I'm sorry for the length, but hopefully uh, it helps you to install everything correctly so that you can join my server. So it's been DrawingKit1313, and I hope, you t I hope to see you on my server soon. Bye.